Today in art, we're gonna do some work with primary and secondary colors. And if you can remember in art class, we have talked about the primary colors. Those three special colors are red, yellow, and blue. And when you mix two primary colors together, you get a secondary color. So for example, if you mix red and yellow together, you're gonna to get orange. Red plus blue is purple and blue plus yellow is green. So we're gonna do a picture today in which we mix some colors. So here I've got a shape of a glue bottle and you can see where my yellow glue bottle sits on top of my red glue bottle, it's orange. And where blue is on top of yellow, it's green. And when blue is on top of red, it mixes for purple. Now, we want to use something that maybe has a distinctive shape. So if you have a glue bottle, that's great. Or you could use something like this. I'm sure you know what that is. It's a game controller that has a very distinctive shape. If you don't have either of those things, you could just use your hand. A hand has a very distinctive shape. Okay, so to do this, you're gonna need a piece of paper, a pencil, and you can either use crayons or watercolor. I've got a glue bottle here, so I'm gonna use that for my shape. And I wanna do three glue bottles, and I wanna arrange them kind of in a triangle shape. So I'm gonna start by putting one uh, this way. I'm gonna, this rocks a little bit, so I'm gonna hold it steady with one hand and trace around it with my pencil as best I can. So there's one. Now when I do my second one, I want to overlap it. So I want part of this shape on top of the shape I already drew. So I'm going to put it at an angle and it's overlapping part of the glue bottle. I'm going to hold this steady. And now I'm gonna do a third one. So I've got one glue bottle this way, one this way, and now the third one has to overlap parts of both of the ones I've already done. So let's see if I can arrange that. Okay, I'm gonna hold this steady and trace around. Okay, so I have my three glue bottles. I wanna make one, um, glue bottle yellow, one is going to be red, and one is going to be blue. So I'm gonna start with my yellow, and let's see, I'm gonna make this one yellow. Now if you want to trace around your shape with a black pen, you can certainly do that. I'm just tracing the shape with my yellow crayon. So I know I'm gonna make this one yellow, and I wanna make one red. So I'm gonna do, I'll do this one red. This helps me see the shape of each bottle. And of course I need to do one blue. So I've got my three primary colors. Now the secret to getting the colors to mix with crayons is to not press too hard. So I'm just doing a medium, sort of a medium pressure. And if I color in one direction, I can get this filled in pretty quick. If I scribble, scrabble and go in different directions, it will take me a lot longer to fill in the shape of this bottle. Okay, so here's my yellow. And I've just sort of done a, not a hard pressing of the crayon, but just sort of a medium pressure to do this area. Now I'm gonna do my red. When I'm ready to do some mixing, 
I'm going to color lightly on top of that yellow. The formula for really making orange is a lot of yellow and just a little bit of red. If I feel I need to go a little bit harder on top of the um, yellow with the red, I can do that. But I want to start out just doing it kind of light so I can still see the yellow through the red. And I can come back with my yellow crayon and do a little more yellow on top to help bring out that orange. I think I need a little more red on this side. I'm gonna make sure I fill in the shape of this glue bottle all the way. So I'm gonna do my best to color in one direction. And now when I do my blue, again, I'm just gonna go lightly on top of the other color So making green again is a lot of yellow and just a little bit of blue. So I'm coloring very lightly with my blue on top of that yellow. And it's making green right away. The purple is a little bit harder to get. It takes about an even amount of red and blue. So if I feel that it's not quite purple enough, I might come in with my red and do a little more red. And um, it depends on the crayons you have too and the uh, brand you have as to how well they mix or overlay. So just do your best with the crayons. If you have watercolors, that's another medium you can use. And sometimes watercolor mixes a little bit better. So I'm going to show you that next. So here are my primary and secondary colors. Okay, to do watercolor, I've got one that I've already started, and I have a little bit of water, and I've got my watercolor set and a brush. If you're gonna do this color mixing with watercolor, um, there's a couple things you need to know. First of all, when you're using a watercolor set to keep your colors clean, always use your lightest color first. So I used yellow first on this one. And then I went to red, and now I'm ready to do blue. I've let these dry at least a little bit before starting on my next color because otherwise, if the whole paper is wet, the colors run together, and I want the color to stay in the shape of this controller. So I've got my blue. I'm going to stir it, and I'm going to just outline the edge where I want the blue to be. If I get a puddle, I'm going to try and move that puddle of uh, blue paint around my controller so I can fill in the whole shape. Now when I'm ready to do some color mixing, I have to be a little bit careful because I want the, um, each color to stay in each shape. So where I have the overlapping shapes, I consider that a separate shape because of course I want it to be a secondary color. So I'm going to start with yellow first because it's my lighter color. And the formula for making um, green, blue plus yellow is green, is a lot of yellow and just a little bit of blue. So I've just got a little bit of blue here and I'm going to start mixing that right on my paper. And even though my yellow paint is dry, the water reactivates it and helps it mix with the blue. So I can mix it right here on my paper. And I'm going to do my best to keep the green in the shape. If I want my green a little bit darker, I can add a little more blue to it. And I'm going to spread the color out so it's nice and even. 
That looks good. I'm going to let that dry. Okay, now for my purple up here. It's going to take a little bit more um, blue to mix that into a purple. So I'm just trying to mix that right together here on in, within that shape. And it might not look like Vikings purple, but I'm going to let that dry and see how it looks. Just do your best and try mixing. It's really fun. When you're done with your artwork, I would love to see it. Please take a picture and post it on Seesaw for me.